So after doing this alignment procedure for the LY7 engine, the incorrect way, well, technically the correct way by going starting at position one on the oil pump, putting the right chain on as you're looking at it, the right chain, primary chain, then putting this to position two, putting this chain on, just been to, I, I tried that way, tried it twice, caused problems, didn't fix the car. Um, you may be able to do it that way, but speaking to the, a proper dealership, they don't even do it that way. How they do it is they just do it all from this position. So they they turn the crank till the uh, the dot on the crank sprocket lines up with the dot on the oil pump here. They put the angled alignment tool here on the, this as you're looking at it, on the right bank. They put the flat alignment tool on the left bank as you're looking at it. Um, if they don't line up, they put a socket sockets on here it shouldn't be out by much you might need to put a socket on here and here and turn it just a fraction to get the to get the tools on but once the tools on and they're in place that the tools can only go one way so if it's not going in a certain way if, if the edges are here are hitting the um the cam like casing you would have to turn the tools around but it's definitely the flat on the left the angled on the right as you're looking at it and this position here and they do all the chains at at this position they don't go back and forth with the they don't move the crank sprocket back and forth and do different chains different in a two-stage alignment they do the entire alignment um from this position and they put all the chains on from this position and even being out by half a link will throw codes so everything has to be perfect so the l the l marks on the on the cams have to be on the little, the, the little circle marks have to line up with the yellow link chains, LL line up with the yellow links. These, the yellow, being able to see the yellow link through the uh, intermediary sprocket, you have to be able to see the yellow thing, the yellow link through there. If you can't see the yellow link, it's wrong. Um, you have to get down to like eye level to have a look at it, maybe use a mirror or something. The this All the other links have to be where they where they show this yellow link has to be in line with this hole the arrow has to be in line with this link and this link has to be in line with the dots on the oil pump and the crank sprocket and and the uh r in there the r in there and once all that's done the way the proper holden mechanics do it is they they because once you turn the engine like a bunch of times and all that it's never going to go back to this exact alignment. Once it leaves this position, you'll never be able to, it'll, it just never comes back to this exact position again. So what the Holden mechanic recommended was to put, you know, I'm mean, not sure how you do it, how you go backwards, but he puts the, you know, the, the bolt in. You may need to take your spark plugs out to give you, an, to make sure there's no resistance, but put the crank bolt in, go forward two revolutions, then, then grab it, swip, swap your soccer wrench to the other way and go back two revolutions and you should arrive back at this position. And if the links haven't moved, if everything's lined up where it should be, then you've done it right and you're good to put it all back together. The reason he goes forward two revolutions and back two revolutions is that things like the tensioners, which are like here and here, they, they work best under oil pressure. So when the engine's open and you're turning the chains, there's no oil pressure on the um, on the tension is forcing tension against the chains, and when there's um, when the tension isn't hundred percent, these chains have a bit of play in them. So the, that's why he goes forward twice and back twice to just hundred percent make sure that you know through the play of the tensioners coming in and out and pushing on the chain here that it is hundred percent not going to slip any links or any links aren't going to come out come out a little bit. Apparently, it has to be. 100% perfect. And with regards to the codes, like the P008 trouble codes and that that come up when your chains are stretched, they will clear themselves. You don't have to clear it with a tool when you've done it right. So that's how you know. You won't have to you don't have to clear it with a diagnostic tool when you've done it right. The codes will clear on their own. And they also recommended putting a software on there um, from the factory, the space 
that it would take for the coke to come on is like, you know, one-tenth of a millimetre stretch in the chain links. Very, very, very small amount of stretch. Um, the software that they can put on there is like an aftermarket software which widens the... It was actually released by Holden and it widens the range that the light won't come on for because they Holden realised like, you know, such a such a small amount like you know that could be that could be influenced by the um the tensioners it could be influenced by anything like that's such a small window for the lights to come on so it's better off if they make the window for the for the stretch window to be a little bit wider so yeah if you follow that procedure angled locking tools here and here you should be fine um i tried it two times doing the two stage method and both times it wasn't right and both times we had to you know put sockets on the cams and turn them a lot and it was just completely wrong so just save yourself the hassle